that if you are a coach, a consultant, or a specialist expert, then pay attention. Pay attention and stop selling on price. But do this instead. Don't sell on price. Do this instead. See, selling on price rather than value can lead to a lower profit margin and eat up your cash flow and your profits. And above all, also mean that you have less customer value. Yeah, so you make less money and they will always be looking over their shoulder to see where else they can get this thing. Stop it, stop it, stop it. See, let's talk about this. Selling on value rather than selling on price. This is very important. Remember, if you're a coach, consultant, specialist, um, expert in any field, often you are providing a service. See, when a service is sold solely on the basis of its price, the customer may view it as being of lower quality or less valuable. So bear that in mind. This makes it difficult for the seller, you, to differentiate between what your competitors do and offer versus what you offer. And so what happens is you, there's a race to the bottom of the barrel who can give it the cheapest. No, 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 no. You can't create a lifestyle or a business if that is the case. So in contrast, value, when you sell on value, it emphasizes your unique benefits and the features of your service. That can lead you then charging higher and having greater customer loyalty. So, for example, my company, Mindspace Coaching, we have a reputation for helping our clients double their sales in less than one year. Now, is that of value? So if you were able to double your sales in less than one year, what price would you put on that? You see my point? So let me give you five reasons, five reasons to sell on value, not on price. Very, very quickly. That there are several reasons why, you know, it can be more beneficial to sell on value rather than price. Now, one of them is this, you get a higher profit margin, essential, key, key, key. When you sell your service on value, your customer, your client is willing to pay more for the perceived benefits and features. Listen carefully. I said, for the perceived benefits and features. That means you can sell at a higher price, make better profits, and now you are in a better position as a business. Number two, greater customer loyalty. When your client perceives your service as being of higher value, they are more likely to be loyal to you, to your brand, to your company, and make repeat purchases. Is that useful for anyone here? Now listen very carefully. You are listening to this because I do want you to pitch your business in a totally different way and don't lose out. Number three, you it differentiates you from your competitors. You see, when you sell on value, it allows you to differentiate your offering from what the competitors are doing, as I said earlier on, because now you're focused on positioning the unique features and the unique benefits. This can make it easier to justify you charging a higher price. If, for example, if you're if you're a coach or a consultant, you can do you do something very specialist, which allows the client to get a specific result. What price are you going to put on that? So if you're charging the same as every everybody else. Now, if your particular association or the federation you belong to has fixed prices and you can't change anything, then fair enough. But if wherever you can focus on selling on value, sell on value instead every single time. Number four, increased perceived value of the product. So let me get deeper on that. By selling on value, the customer will see the product as more valuable and will be more likely to make a purchase. So. In a little while, I'm going to break down on how can you sell on value. I know some of you are probably thinking, that. so what do you mean sell on value? How do I do that then? Give me a little moment. Let me go through number five, and then I will go through that with you. Number five is brand reputation. Your company, when it sells on value, will be seen as reputable and reliable. 
it will be associated with higher quality products, which will attract more customers. You know, um, it, it, it's so essential. In this day and age, there is a lot of information out there. You know, people can get information from YouTube, from all the social media, Google. But so why are they coming to you? They're not coming to you because you are the cheapest or the most expensive. Often price has got nothing to do with it. Price is an afterthought. Once they're able to justify your service and get the price you're asking for, then great. So focus on value and match it. Make sure you give them the, the value they're looking for. Now, here are some strategies. I'm, again, I'm going to quickly go through five strategies that you can use to sell on value. If you're selling on price already, I recommend you, I urge you, please, please, please come away from that. In my business accelerator bootcamp, we teach our clients to focus on selling on value. We teach them how to sell. We teach them how to build a better business. So it's essential you do it the same way. Number one, on strategies for selling on value. We know the reasons why it's important to sell on value. So how do we do it? I'm gonna give you five things. Number one, you must understand your customer. So who is your ideal customer? Understand them at a very deep level in terms of what are their problems? What are their pains? What are their challenges? What are they going through? And really talk to that. You see, if you can identify those type of clients and then match it with your unique benefits and features of your service, it's value right there. You're saying, hey, customer, I know you have this challenge, this problem. I know you're this type of person. And because of that, I've got we, our company does this and we've got this to offer you and it will address that problem you have. That's value. We haven't even mentioned price yet. Number two, number two, you now have to be able to communicate that value proposition. See, clearly communicating the unique benefits and the features of your service allows them to, to realize that actually there is a solution to my problem, to my challenge. So, you got, so I insist that you use language that emphasizes the value to the client. This is no longer about you. This is not about how wonderful you are and all the rest of it. That's a given. This is not just about they trust you. That's a given. But this is, our, this is more about can you communicate your value effectively to the client? That's number two. Number three, build trust. Build trust. If you can build trust with the client, then you stand a higher chance of them closing and becoming a valuable long-term client. So I, I should have said prospect there. But here's the thing. I'm, I'm sure you're with me. Build trust with your prospect by providing evidence of the value of your service. So show if you have any video testimonials, written testimonials, case studies, or any kind of industry awards, show it. So often when I'm doing my webinars or I'm doing my trainings, I will often talk about clients' testimonials, what clients are saying about us. I will, for example, you know, we, we have a client in Barcelona, um, in that region, who run, a, um, what do they call it, a film academy and acting academy. Now, in the last, you know, a few days ago, I sat down with them, we're looking at their numbers from 2022, right? And what had happened was they had grown from one year to the other, they've grown by more than 100%. And they continue to grow. So if that if you have case studies like that, show it. You know, if we, so I've got clients who uh, have been with us for several years and they're witnessing right now, even through the pandemic, year on year growth, 30%, sometimes 20%, sometimes 50%. Why? Because now they are selling the right way. They're positioning themselves the right way and clients are attracted to them. So show case studies. Number four, number four, create a premium experience. What do I mean by that? You see, for your client, by providing them excellent customer service 
And if you look at all what your competitors do and you think, okay, those are okay, this that's expected. How can you make yours more of a premium experience? So for example, we have a, like I said earlier on, our, one of our programs is called the Business Accelerator Bootcamp. Now in this bootcamp, it's not a lecture. It's a training, it's a bootcamp. So what, when, cli when uh, clients come onto, those program, onto that program, which is a three-day program, they're not there just to listen to me, but we show them elements of marketing, sales, building their team, developing their systems, but not only show them and teach them, but get them to, uh, to practice. So that's the experience part, practicing, actually doing the sales, finding them those leads, give them a premium experience. That, that way, they, the value can be seen because you're demonstrating it there and then. Number five, number five. Number five is all about continuously improving your service. So if you have a service and your clients already love it and they're giving you good feedback, continue improving it. And if you don't know what they love or you don't know um, how it's changing their life or their business or their health or whatever it is, ask them. Ask them for feedback. And as well, the good as well as the bad. And if you know what the good is, continue doing that. If you know the things that are not working, fix it. And by doing that constantly, guess what? You're going to have a better quality service and you can continue selling on value, as I said earlier on. So thank you for listening to this and watching to this. Remember, share it. Please share it, share it, share it. And also, yeah, if whichever platform you're watching this, you know, like it, uh, subscribe it, make your comments. How do you add value to your clients? How do you add value to your prospects so they stay with you? Uh, for more information like this, make sure you subscribe, click the bell button or follow whatever you need to do. And also, if you need to reach out to me and just DM me on any of my social channels or go to www.macatram.com. More information on, at macatram.com. And I will be more than happy to sit down with you and look at how you can add more value in your business and make a lot more money. For those of you who are thinking, um, Mac talks about the Business Accelerator Bootcamp. If you are interested in that, simply hit me up and I'll give you more information or go to babnow.com. That's Bravo, Alpha, Bravo, Now, N-O-W.com for more information on that boot camp, which comes up in a few weeks' time, actually, in the month of January. All right, Mac Atram here checking out. Listen, go out there, sell, market your business, make more money, reach out if I can help you. Take care and go for it. 2023, your year. Bye for now.